Thanks for joining us tonight at 6 o'clock. Neighbors in Anderson say a woman was going door to door in the middle of the night asking for help after she shot and killed a man who broke into her home. That shooting happened just before 1 o'clock this morning. It was on East 8th Street, which is not far from Anderson University and the police department. Today, our Gina Glero spoke to witnesses who helped the woman right after police say that she fired that deadly shot. All is quiet here on East 8th Street in Anderson, but it was a very different scene early Wednesday morning when neighbors compare to what happened here at this blue house to a scary movie. There was somebody screaming, help me, help me, let me in, please call the police. Amari Lewis and Caitlin Knox woke up to their doorbell ringing over and over and their neighbor desperate for help. She was very scared and, and frantic. She, she didn't want to go to jail. She wanted to make sure her kids were okay. The woman told her neighbors what happened minutes before. Somebody tried to rob her. They said that um, where was she and where was the money or else they were going to start shooting. Anderson police responded here around 1 a.m. to East 8th Street. They had the whole street blocked off. Like yeah. it, was, it was big. This area is really like quiet. It leads right to the police station and the jail. Like This is like a main part of town. The woman told police she saw a man kick in her back door to get in the house. She told officers she then went upstairs to a bedroom, got a gun, and shot and killed the suspect. She didn't even see the guy. She didn't even see. She just acted out of self-defense. Yeah. Like, if anybody broke into my house, I'd have done the same thing, yeah. especially with my kids in the house. A close call for this street. It's what scary. Happened? It could have been any of our houses. Yeah. It could have happened to anybody in this neighborhood. And with any other outcome. Yeah, I'm just glad nothing happened to us or nothing happened to her, her and her family. I'm glad that everybody's okay. Now the Madison County coroner just identified the suspect as 37 year old Jeffrey Flowers. Neighbors say the woman did not know him.